going to kind of tie tie all the way together. The system that you're looking at right now is your generator remote start pad. Um, a couple key features on this pad that you'll notice is that to the left you have a, a water temperature. Generally between 190 degrees is where the average is going to be. It'll fluctuate a little bit depending on that, how cold or hot it is outside. The oil pressure gauge will run anywhere between 40 to, to, to 55. And, and this is a backlit feature so when I do start this the lights will come on. You have a check engine light, should disappear, that'll let you, let you know that you need servicing. And then this feature right here uh, in the rectangular shape is actually one of two features. So if you kind of look at it and watch it, it'll actually switch. It, it tells you voltage of 12.8 and then it'll actually switch momentarily when the unit's running and tell you the amount of hours that the unit has been running. Because we're in the building, we're not running a generator, so you're not seeing that. Now, the generator produces your power, and that power comes into this breaker panel right here. This breaker panel has a couple different features. If you're running the generator, it would be selected just like it is right here. If you were going to a short cord, you would simply slide the breaker and activate the circuit. <coughs> now, these each individual circuit breakers are for what they're labeled for, air conditioner one, air conditioner three, uh, all the way down through each individual circuit is labeled. This is not where you turn on and off all the system. What we recommend to you is that, that, that you just go ahead and leave all the features in the on position and turn them off at the source. Um, this is much better. One thing that may occur is if you have the air conditioner circuit and you try to use it as an on and off switch, what will happen is you'll go to turn that circuit back on and it'll be overloaded and it'll trip and that's the way it'll look when it's tripped. So we recommend that you turn everything off at the source and just use this as, as your visual to see that the circuit is active. These, will, these green lights will illuminate and let you know that the circuit is active and of course seeing that means that it's tripped and break. Now one feature you have over here is line one and line two. 240 volts is entering the back of this panel and it's being split into two legs, 120 volt for each side, line one, line two, and that's 120 volt on each side. And that line voltage, <coughs> if I wanted to know what was come, or excuse me, load current, I could switch this to line two, and this side right over here would tell me how many amps are present off of this circuit. If I do line one, which would be this side, the load current would probably most likely change and it would be the amp load for this side. The generator is producing 80 amps whereas the short cord is only producing a max of 50 amps. So if you exceed 50 amps on the unit it will start to trip breakers on the, on the unit as a safety, safety feature. Okay.